Hey, what's going on, people? Matthew Never Dearly here. Today, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about my two part series vlog with my brother Ryan. As I stated before, I actually am a vlogger. I actually do all kinds of different types of uh, videos, and this is one of them. So my brother Ryan actually had come out here from a work trip and we decided to go ahead and spend the day together. It was really fun. We drove out to Tyler, Texas so that, you know, he can actually see the countryside and he can actually experience what a Ford Mustang can actually do. This kind of Mustang is not equipped with the actual like beefed up motor. It was just a straight four, four cylinder motor. It was turbocharged and it actually had some get up. And this is actually my second time in a uh, vehicle like that. It was really fun. You know, we didn't really swerve in and out of lanes, but it was really nice to just cruise along the uh, countryside. And we were going there and we had done a couple things together and it was really nice. One of the things that we actually had done was discover a 1931 Model A Ford with the original motor in it. That's right, the original motor in it. I mean, the darn vehicle was nice and clean. We discovered that along the way when we actually were you know, driving in the neighborhood and I want to go ahead and stop right there and let's go ahead and show you what was really nice to actually have something like that with my brother, all right? Are you recording? I mean, I just started, but... All right. Pretty good to uh, get her running, finally. Hey, man. We're just so random here. I'm here with my brother, Ryan, and I just met this guy, uh, Kevin. We decided, got, decided to go ahead and take a tour, and we found this freaking... Badass freaking pickup truck right here. What year is this? 1931 Model A. Wow, this is a Model A Ford. Last time I actually touched one of these things was like eight years ago. And we're going to go ahead and check it out. Come on, Ryan. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, hell yeah. It's got the original block. Hey. Hey, guys. Check this out, man. Oh, come on here. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Original. You got the distributor right here. You got your uh, flathead. You got your spark plugs, your distributor points. You got your ignition coil right here. You got a straight motor right here. That's original. Of course, you got some sort of aftermarket modification. But you got your drive belt. You got your radiator. Dude, this is badass, man. <laughs> 1931, man. This is like, how old? I'm like... That's like eight, eight years shy, man. This is like a freaking. This is 92 years old, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, this is. Oh, this is nice. That's like 97 years old, yeah. And you got your little tiny valve for the actual front tank, the gas tank right here. Yeah. I can lift this open. Like I said, I can need a fine tuner a little bit, but. You see this trigger? Yeah, see yeah. That? No, right here. On the bottom? Uh-huh. Hold that down, you can actually, yeah. See oh, that? yes, that's good. And you got the rumble seat. Oh, that's that's awesome. Now I'm going to get her detailed up. Finally got her running about a month ago, so I'm going to get her detailed up. Oh, that's clean. Oh, that is clean, dude. Hey, check this out, guys. You really want to know how old this is? This thing didn't even actually have a spring-loaded ignition switch. Check this out, Ryan. Come over here. Check this out. Can't keep it down. Check this out. Okay, in order for you to actually start this truck, you actually had to go ahead and press down the starter button right here on the gas pedal, right here on the floorboard. That right there, that's actually where you actually start the truck. It energizes with the actual key. <laughs> That's dope. That is pretty cool. All right, guys. And of course, me being a car guy, of course I wanted to see it start up. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah.
after the Model A, we went to the gym. And before we ended up going to the gym, I just wanted to let you know how rare I am. You got that water bottle? What? You got that water bottle? What water bottle? In the back seat? Yeah, definitely in the back seat. Right there? Dude, it's fun to rip one, man. I fart all the time. I think everybody should fart. Yeah, because they're going to have a really bad indigestion if they don't. Well, I actually physically cannot burp, just like you. The dysfunction of the belch reflex, believe it or not. Hey, you can't burp? Nope. Hey, neither can I, though. I know. That's called the dysfunction of the belch reflex. Yeah, man, like, how do you get that? How, how can, like, you make that functional, man? Because I've been, like, dying to burp, like, the way that other people do. You can't, you can't actually acquire the function of burping. It's just a part of your anatomy. Yeah, I know that, man, but, like, is there a way that, like, you could, like, make it, like, uh, like somebody, I, I, I looked it up and, like, a doctor, hold on, let me, a doctor was, like, um, a doctor or somebody was talking about on the internet cause I looked it up years ago and somebody said that they went to like a doctor and like he like he like like near their collarbone or something oh yeah they, near their collarbone or something they said um near their collarbone or something um it's like somewhere in their uh, I think esophagus or I forgot they he, he injected like a Botox or something and it made something expand and then they were able to belch yeah. I can't believe it. Of all the rare things, it turns out that other my other brother actually has the same kind of uh, issue with me, which is a dysfunction of the belch reflex. Yeah, that's a trip, huh? That sucks. <laughs> yeah, because I wish I could burp like that. Me too, instead of farting all the damn time. Yeah, I know. And then having freaking a blow, blow to stomach. Yeah, sometimes. blow to, which is painful. Yeah, exactly. Me Like, and you know what? I told my I told my friends that too. They're like, they, it's like they were so in denial that that that, no, that, that was happening with me. Like they're like, bro, you could burp. No, you I can't. I have burp. I've never burped. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, like it comes out so rare, like on accident, and it's not even like a big one. It's yeah, like, I, like, uh, yeah. I hate that, man. I hate that. Right, hey. Time to get our workout on. So, Ryan, why don't you go ahead and tell the people of how it actually felt when you actually decided to go ahead and try to do a wheelie in my wheelchair. It felt refreshing. <laughs> and, and sober. Yeah, right when you ate crap and you fell backward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a refresher of, yeah, you're not in high school anymore, Ryan. <laughs> this guy thought he was professional. He could pop wheelies, no problem. Gee, thank you, Willikers. All right, guys. I just want to go ahead and tell you right now, I'm going to go ahead and work out with my brother, Ryan. Um, I haven't seen him forever, and I decided to go ahead and go to the gym with him because this is a good time to actually do some sort of adaptive workout because I actually have a brain disorder, you know, caused by gluten allergy. I can't actually do repetitious movement, and it's just not part of my uh, programming anymore. I have movement problems. So when I actually hear, I'm actually really excited to really adapt and learn uh, different types of workouts. And we'll just go from there. It's gonna be exciting and we'll just go ahead and show you on some new routines. Hey dude, it's a learning experience for me, all right? All right. We gotta do this. So are you telling me, Orion, that is, is our it, brother it, Chris decided to go ahead and think that he can bench press 200 pounds. Is this right? That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he claimed, but this is 225 right now. All right, see that, guys? That's quite a bit. So you'll see, you'll see how much I struggle, and then yeah. Well, let's see, let's see my max. No? Yeah, let's go ahead and see your max, Brian. <laughs> let's do. <laughs> All right, let's try. All right. Okay, 90. Plus 
five. That's, that's uh, two ninety five. Okay. I haven't maxed in a while, so shoot, man. Let's see. A true max would be like two reps. And this is an incline, let me see. See how much weight that guy's is? That's quite a bit of weight. Hold on, I was trying to lower it because it's too high. Are you busting out of Kevin Hart? No. <laughs> I don't even know what he did, but no. One, get your money. Nah, I can only do that once. How much was that? 295 once. So that's your max, right? That was a true max is two reps, but. <laughs> All right, let me do, let me do 35 or 40. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this concludes my part one of my uh, wheelchair vlog. And the next one is coming up is going to be about me working out with my buddy or my, my brother, Ryan. And we're going to go ahead and conclude that. And he had to go and leave to home, uh, California. And we'll just take it from there. I had to learn my new thing of how to develop my workout routine, uh, given that I actually have a brain injury, um, you know, from gluten and all that kind of stuff. So with all that said, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, please like and subscribe to my channel. Everyone counts and everything matters, all right? All right? Peace.